Welcome to another PC Sports Cards $1,000 Challenge update. This is the last order from our first six orders that came back. It was the third order that we sent in. It took about two months to get back. We sent in 13 cards in this submission. And as you'll see, we're going to go through our evaluation of the cards. We're going to put that in there. And then we're going to show you what the cards actually got. Um, 11 for 13 is very acceptable. And we will make a lot of money with this submission. First card back, as you saw the valuation of, is the John Elway Red Mosaic. Do a dollar box or something down the road, it shows. Next up, we got an Elway Red Mo Red Mosaic. You know that, that I like all the color mosaic stuff, especially Hall of Famers. So let's see what we got here. So if I quickly, if, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quickly v zoom out, and I hope you can see my light. Nope, you can't. So I have one light right here. And one LED light right here. And those lights are going to give me all the light that I need to review the cards that I'm going to send in or not send in. I may get something that's not as pixelated down the road, but these kinds of lights normally do a really good job anyway. No issues on the back. That's nothing. And like I said, we've had a lot of comments. Like, why don't you wear gloves? I've never, ever, ever worn a glove when I'm evaluating cards. I like being able to touch the card and feel the card. Um, I feel like I have a better grip on the card that way. First card back, as you saw the valuation of, is the John Elway Red Mosaic. We had an orange reactive Elway. That's a double color match. It sold for 45 bucks already. Um, another card that was just a couple dollars raw. I expect this to get $30 to $50 as well. All in all, a good card. What I use the microfibers for is to A, give it its best presentation, which I think is important, and B, wipe off what I'm not sure of. Like, So if I think it's debris, and I'm not sure if it's a mark or something like that, I can wipe it off and get a better look at it. But I'm not worried about fingerprints being on the card. And yes, you have seen fingerprints, nothing wrong with the front of this card. You have seen fingerprints on cards. I think that happens in the slabbing process more than anything. Um, I don't think that actually affects the grade. See, there's a little fingerprint there. I'll wipe it off. This card looks really clean, though. This card's very clean. And I, I'll always give a good wipe, even though I know that PSA or BGS is going to wipe it. Um, I will always wipe it anyway. But... The grading companies will wipe the cards off. And if you notice, I'm, gr I'm holding it with the meat of my fingers. Meat of my fingers, not my fingertips, and on the sides. And I never actually touch the card with my fingertips. So you can look again. There's The only fingerprints that we have here are on the savers. As you just saw, we had a Brees Hall M NFL debut rookie. Yellow, red, fusion choice. This card is number 23 of 80, Michael Jordan 101. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with this one yet. I may not even throw this one up in auction. It's listed fixed price for a good number. I may just hold out and hold this card till the season starts. May pull it down. I don't know. Very happy with the grade, obviously. I think it's going to go 80 to $120. It was like 30 bucks raw. So that's another good win. Just always see money in it, especially colors. Somehow I won this. I won this card real cheap. I won this one for 19 bucks. And when I won this card, I actually took advantage of the seller's combined shipping policy and was able to get a, an Otani purple, which I paid a dollar more than I would have paid. I bid more than I would have paid normally because I had won this blue trout. Since I was getting additional shipping for free, I just decided to pay a couple bucks more and get the card. This is another one that I think is an easy gem. I also love when sellers send cards with the notched out, uh, the notched out penny sleeves. I think we're actually going to be getting those to make available for sale as well. Uh, I don't know what is wrong with this trout. Top bottom centering is off, but like that's just not enough to get a nine on it. Two Trouts, two Nines, not very excited about that.
These are 150 to 200 bucks as tens. I'll probably lose money on it, but I'm going to keep on trying with Trout because he is that player that got me. First of all, he got me into the grading, into grading cards a lot. Um, and second of all, there's money to be made still. Um, I think those are a real big advantage. All right, we got another Otani. We got Otani purple this time. We had the Trout blue, the Otani purple. Again, I, I see some stuff on the card, and I just want to make sure it's nothing serious. So I'm going to give it a wipe, and it disappeared. That means it was probably just dust or debris. And, but it could be an actual card issue. We have one dimple down here. I don't know if you could see it. Yeah, you could see it there. One little dimple there. That's not going to kill the grade. Nothing bad on the back. Corners aren't the super sharpest, but since they're white and they're relatively easy, really good, really good thick stock for this, both are going in. The problem with dimples, dimples are a problem when lines are coming out of the dimples. I've heard this directly from graders. Dimples are a problem when there are lines coming out of the dimples. When it's just a little notch, it's not that big of a deal. Another track. On the other hand, we have another purple Otani PSA 10 number to 250. First one's currently up at auction. I think it's at about 70 bucks. Ends on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday. This video is going to be up on Thursday. Otani, the centering's better on this one. Maybe it was just the centering. And as you can see, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'll show you closely. There is a dimple on the front. As I've told you in the past, one or two small dimples does not matter. And I like buying cards with dimples. Because if it's only one or two, I know I can still get a 10 on it. Fifth card out. This one, the centering is not great. I did see that when I was evaluating the card on eBay. Um, but it's a cool design. And I like the card in general. And I don't think a lot of people are grading this card. I didn't see a lot graded. 2021 Topps Chrome insert. I love grading inserts. It's that old heritage design. You got a little fingerprint on the top there. Let's wipe that off. Another one, sending it in. Three in a row. There is a chance that some of these get nines. There's no question about it. I don't see any major flaws, so I'm sending it in. Start up. Tra hey, we did hit a 10 on a trout. Very inexpensive trout. I think this is going to still go for 50 bucks. Uh, I think this was $2 raw. Great card to grade. Hits all the buckets. Happy that I got a 10 on it. Such an easy card to evaluate also with the dark blue background. You can see that if there's white on it somewhere, you'll see it right away. Hockey, guys. Not my sport. Not my sport, but I leverage people that I know in the hobby and ask them who to buy. Jack Quinn was one of the three guys they said to buy. They also told me the major problem with Young Guns this year is the top edge. There aren't a lot of surface issues, and this card is super, super clean on the front. So I'm going to look really closely at the top edge because I know that's what the known problems are. Still looking over the whole back. I don't see anything wrong with this card. Not for nothing, these are cards. I'm going to send this one to PSA. I want to start rolling in the money. I want to start getting it going quickly. So I'm going to send it to PSA, but after a while, if I could keep on picking these up, I might start sending some of those to BGS because they are super clean. All right, we got another one. Received 10 for the Quinn. If, if I'm right on these, I'm going to be next card up. It was Jack Quinn. This got a piece, and this actually already sold for $79.99. I had it listed $79.99 on our best offer because they were going $65 to $80. And I figured I, if I could sell it, I could sell it, and somebody smashed the bin on it. So what I learned from this is there still is, you can see a little bit of white up here, but it doesn't matter as much. It's what the edge looks like. There's nothing serious there. Happy with this one. I think I made uh, $20 or $30 on this card. I'll way ahead on my numbers. All right. The next five cards we picked up from the same seller, again, took advantage of combined shipping. Halliburton's been absolutely on fire. This is the NBA debut, not the real rookie card. I think it ended up costing me five and a half bucks. I'm going to guess it's 30 plus as a PSA 10. I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, 
super clean again. I don't worry about that kind of stuff. It look, looks good. Another one. They're going in. Guys, I'm very happy if people aren't competing with me on eBay for cards, but there's some clean stuff. I'll throw it into the, into the spreadsheet and see the exact numbers. I will share the spreadsheet again in this video. Halliburton Orange Reactive. I might lose money on this even though it got a 10. Uh, NBA debut, Orange Reactive rookie. Halliburton had a great year. I'm happy with the card, happy with the grade. May not end up making money, may lose a couple bucks, but it is what it is. Sometimes you got to take those chances. Don't have to sell them all on eBay. Um, I prefer to sell them all on eBay for all the transparency. But, like, you guys go to shows also. You guys walk around at shows. Maybe I'll just make, like, a show box. This is definitely one that I wanted. I love A.J. Brown. Um, I don't love these short prints, but I know it's a low-pop card. So if this is clean... Not loving this corner right here. I'm going to look a little closer. All right. I can't really tell with how I'm looking at it right now. So this is the one. This is one that I, I really want to grade this card. Like, I have a mental, uh, mental lock on wanting to send this card in. So I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. And I'll probably look it over again after... The live so I can get a little bit better view on it. AJ Brown, I knew as you just saw in the reveal, in the review, I mean, that there was issue up here with this corner. You could see it bent in the in the video. You could see it bent right up here. I'll circle it when I do my uh, editing so you could really see it right here. I thought it was gonna get a nine. That issue plus the off center left to right. I guess knocked it down to an 8. Most likely going to lose money on this one. Definitely going to lose money on this one. Another one I might just hold to the football season because what's the difference? It's 10 or 15 bucks. It's not the velocity there is not going to matter. If his name gets hot, I might be able to break even on it. I do have like a magnifying lamp. Maybe I'll bring that in so I can show you guys what that is. Um, that helps me look stuff over. Again, this is the fourth card out of five from the big seller on eBay. Only one worth grading so far for sure. Right. Everything on the back looks good. I love grading Lucas stuff. Another really good one. Wipe this down, send this in. Can't imagine a Luca yellow selling for under 30 bucks. And again, this one was... Luca reactive yellow. These were going like 40 bucks, 50 bucks when I sent this in. They're only going 30, 35 bucks. It's going to be a break even or lose a little bit on it. I don't care. But it does tell me that I need to go with rarer cards or more desirable cards. And that's part of the reason I've been going to like the National Pride and stuff like that. I also I saw some National Pride sell 50 to 70 dollars yesterday PSA 10s not of Luca obviously. We're talking Brady or Mahomes. So, still going to look for the regular color National Prides. Last one up J-Rod, one of his million Sapphire cards, but J-Rod stuff is absolutely torching right now. So I wanted this card. This was the last one that I got when I was buying from them. I bid on like four or five days worth of auctions and won four or five cards. All right, let's see. I was a little surprised to see this with them because this is the kind of card that I would think that most people would want to grade. Actually, all the stuff that I bought are things that most people want to grade. But I also think that a lot of people over-evaluate cards when sending them in. So if they see one like super minor thing, like, oh, not a 10. And it's we're not going for pristine 10s here, boys and girls. We're going for PSA 10s. Gem Mint cards are Gem Mint cards. All right, another one. Definitely going into the grading pile. J-Ride Saf, PSA 10. He's having a good year, guys. Might not be the breakout year that he had last year, but he's having a good year. Happy with this card. It's listed right now. If it doesn't sell by Thursday night, it's going up for auction for 10 day. David, refractory card. They call it rainbow for hockey. 
This is something that was four dollars, and I think if it's clean, if it's a PSA ten, I think I'll get seventy five plus for it. Super clean on the back. Check it at both angles. Some faint, faint print lines on it, but that stuff just doesn't matter on a card. All right. Sometimes it does. If there's tons of them, but like if you could barely see them under this angled light, they're fine. McDavid going to grading. Finally, finally, finally hit on one of these rainbows. This is like a pop five or pop six. Connor McDavid, platinum rainbow, refractor, prism, whatever you want to call it, hollow. They call it rainbow for hockey. This is gonna go 100 bucks, 80 to 100 bucks, and everything was like six dollars raw. Low pop, best player in the game, iconic guy, love it. Happy with that card. Time I rushed hitting an offer and I hit the wrong button, but I didn't back out of a deal. All right, we got Natani. I love when there's painters tape on; it's so much easier to come out. We did one of these on our uh, one of our reveal videos, and that's actually what made me look at it. We have a Sterling Continuity. So this is a Rookie Otani Refractor. There's like 800 PS7 or 800 PSA 10s already. And this card still sells for a big premium. It's like a 70 or 80% PSA 10 rate. This one corner doesn't look great, but I'm going to look at it again. So that one corner, this top corner, is giving me a little bit of an of Ajita in my head. But I also think, so what I do is I'm like, oh, this card, I like everything about it except for one thing. And then I know that it has a high gem rate. So I'm going to send it in because it has a high gem rate. And maybe it's a common thing that I haven't seen on this card or other cards like it. And maybe I'll get my 10. Because a 10 of this card is huge. And a 9 isn't that big of a loss. So it's definitely a gamble on Another big hitter. We paid 65 bucks for this card, I think. Already turned down a $230 offer as I have it listed fixed price. It's probably going to end up going $250 to $325. You know what? I realized I undersold the last one, so I'm just going to auction this one instead of selling it at the fixed price unless somebody gives me $300 by tomorrow night. Very happy. Another big win on Otani. These are already up. They're $95 to $100 raw now. They were um, they were fifty to sixty when I was buying them, so I know that we saw some issues on the corners and stuff in the review video of the card. Happy to see that those don't have an impact, just as I expected. And last, the lot was sixteen bucks. It had these two cards, which are the main cards that I wanted. I asked the person before I bought it if they were clean, because if these grade, they're worth it. And then the rest of it was like 50 other cards. It was a 16-card Topps Chrome pink lot. And the rest of the cards are like good Com C, good for a show, put in a box, that kind of stuff. So if I could make money on these two and then everything else is a bonus, it's worth it. Not seeing any issues here. Which also makes me feel good, especially on Blowout. When I'm buying raw stuff, I definitely make sure I I actually will block people that or put a block list together of people that I won't buy from ever, won't buy raw from ever. But not least, another Otani Pink Refractor 2020 Tops Chrome. We bought this in a lot. We had a very off-center sepia refractor. We paid like 15 bucks for the lot. This card alone, $15 plus the 1850-3350 total cost. I'm going to get at least 60, 70, 80 bucks out of this, I think. So this pays for that entire lot. Everything else there is free. I can run the other Tani and just get whatever I get out of it. Again, it's how you buy sometimes and knowing what you're getting. I bought that lot on Blowout, not on eBay. But you guys all have access to Blowout, so I don't feel bad doing that. So again, 11 for 13. Everything's going to be sold by Sunday the 7th or 8th, whatever uh, the 5th, whatever it is. By not next Sunday, the Sunday after. So we're going to have a lot more videos showing you how we're doing, showing you our ROI on everything. If you're into all this stuff, remember to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell so you get alerts. 
We have a lot more content coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look forward to doing more throughout the week.